Okay, this is my first video. It's recorded on a normal video 8 cassette. I'm going to show you how to make Phoenix Sun Coffee. First, what you do is you get a steeper. This model's old. Next, you get a water bottle or a Powerade bottle. This is the one I use. It is one liter. Then you get a roll of electrical tape like this. It has to be black for maximum solar absorption. And you take it and you wrap the, you wrap the tape all around the bottle. Next, you set it in the sun. Over here is the one I prepared earlier. Oh yeah, this is extremely hot. Then what you do is you get your favorite kind of coffee, this is mine, and add five tablespoons to one liter of water in the steeper. After your water bottle is thoroughly heated, this is almost boiling hot by the way. Sorry for that jump cut. You take this and you pour it in and you let it steep for about five minutes. Let's see how hot it is. Let me just get my meat thermometer here. It's a coffee press, coffee steeper, I don't know what you call it. Let's see how hot this is. Continuing to climb. Okay, it's stable at 134 degrees, so it's not quite hot enough yet. This can get up to 150 degrees here in Phoenix. Or if you live outside of Phoenix, if you live in a cooler climate, what you do is you put the bottle in your car and leave it on the dashboard and it will get hot. Okay, our coffee is in the coffee press now, five tablespoons. What we do... Is Oh shoot. Let's open the bottle. This bottle's a bit malformed. Pour it all in. And looking through the viewfinder, I can't really see what I'm doing. Okay, now the water's in. What we do is we take this top piece, which has a skimmer. We put it on. and you let it sit till about here and then set the pot outside okay now what we're going to do is let the pot sit in the sun and steep for about half an hour to make sure that all the flavonoids from the coffee are leached out Next, what we're going to do is take a paper towel tear it in half wet it oh god my dishes are dirty Wring it out completely, put it in a nice ball, and then we go out here to the pot, take this, stuff it in there, and make sure it's good and stuffed so that no bugs get in it. Okay. Here's the coffee press. It's been about 20 minutes. Now it's time to agitate it a bit. So first you press down slowly. And then you lift slowly. Make sure all those flavonoids are leached out. And then you press down slowly once more. And then, take this out, and it's time to try a cup. Let's see how that looks. 
Looks like coffee to me. Well, it's really hot, tastes like it was brewed, and it's actually really good coffee. So, you should try it.